Welcome back to this Guac Box. Uh, the Korean markets are pointing to a higher open this morning, and we're expecting a big IPO on the Cosby next Friday. NS Home Shopping, which is a TV home shopping mall, will be IPOing next week. And from what we can see from the bidding for pre-IPO shares as of yesterday, the IPO got 4.8 trillion won, so about 4.3 billion U.S. dollars in deposits for its pre-IPO shares. Uh, this IPO was oversubscribed 236 times uh, at the pre-bidding uh, pre-bidding so the pricing as well it came in at the top of the range at 235,000 won per share uh, they will be listing 878,000 shares uh, this IPO is expected to be about 800 billion won the biggest IPO this year so uh, I'll be watching for this next week and also I'll be watching the autos at the open uh, we're looking at data in terms of uh, EU European Union sales for the autos for the month of February uh, a little bit of a disappointing picture Hyundai Motor Motors sales in Europe were up 0.2 percent year on year, and Kia Motors were up 6 percent year on year. Uh, both Hyundai and Kia's uh, growth was slower than the overall market average. So I'll be watching these names for you, and we'll bring you the opening numbers for Seoul and Tokyo when Squawk Box returns. Stay with us. Hi, Susan. Korean markets are opening higher today. The Korean won is still, though, uh, near its 20-month low. Uh, the housing markets uh, also are in the focus with the uh, Financial Services Commission. The FSC's head, uh, incoming yesterday, Im Jong Young, has uh, said that he does not have any plans to relax housing market regulations. Uh, he's saying that uh, he will take some time to monitor the effects of any regulation changes in the housing markets before going through with them. This is coming even despite a lot of controversy and concern over household debt that's coming from uh, loans for their uh, housing 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 loans so uh, again we are watching the housing market this morning and also uh, this is the same head the new head is saying that he will be looking at options though to uh, reorganize the stock exchanges in Korea uh, saying that he does see uh, the this part as the most urgent issue in his plans as the head of the FSC so I'll be watching the brokerages names uh, this morning again and also, take a look at AK Holdings. AK Holdings is at its 52-week high now. Uh, Singapore Airlines again said yesterday that it is looking to buy a 20% stake in Jeju Air, which is held by AK Holdings, 86% uh, held by AK Holdings. So we are seeing another day of gains for this name of 1.2% at its 52-week high this morning. Also, take a look at the autos. We are seeing gains for Hyundai Motors and Kia Motors at the open, even despite some news that EU sales for February uh, came in below the overall market average. So we are seeing uh, gains for the blue chips at the open and uh, overall a higher open for the Korean markets in general. Let's check on the Korean markets at the open. Uh, Matt, over to you. June, thanks very much. The Australian market... Korea had a QVC? Yes, they do. The home shopping mall and its home shopping is at the list in South Korea on the 27th of March and what could be Seoul's biggest IPO this year. Let's get to Jun Yoon, who's standing by in Seoul. And Jun, do a lot of people shop on NS Home? Hi, uh, Susan. Actually, uh, a lot of people in the 40s and 50s age group, they do do a lot of uh, shopping on TV. And uh, we are expecting a big IPO for this name on the Cosby uh, next Friday. And as home shopping uh, will be IPOing. And from what we can see from pre-IPO share uh, bidding, uh, it was closed yesterday, uh, we are seeing quite a bit of demand. The IPO got 4.8 trillion won, so about 4.3 billion U.S. dollars in deposits for its pre-IPO shares. It was oversubscribed. 260 36 times and also the pricing came in at the top of the range at 235,000 won. So again, this will be a 800 billion won IPO and will, the big, will be the biggest IPO this year. And NS Home Shopping is trying to diversify its business. Uh, overall, I guess we've been seeing a, a declining trend uh, for this home shopping industry in general. But again, through this IPO, they are trying to get into other businesses and also uh, based on the most recent operating profit numbers that NS Home Shopping reported, 
started, they do have a slightly higher operating profit margin. So their operating profit ratio came in at 7.5%, which is higher than its competitors. So we'll see how this is received on the markets next Friday. So um, we'll be back on Squawk Box with more. Stay with us.